Hello and welcome to Colleg Cambria. My name's Anne. I'm a lecturer at the Northup campus of Colleg Cambria and I'm here to tell you all about the Level 2 Environment and Ecology course uh, that we're running here at Northup. Before I tell you about the course, um, here's a short video about the college. We are Cambria. We were rated excellent by Estin inspectors. We inspire success. We provide learners with work experience, which enables them to have the very best employment opportunities. We are the highest performing college in Wales. We lead the way with our world-class facilities. We partner with top universities to bring degrees to your doorstep. We have raised over £500,000 for charity since 2013. We impact positively on the wider communities we serve. We change thousands of lives every year. We can change yours. Your success starts here. Okay, um, so this is a full-time level two course and you can expect to be in college for four days a week. Your timetable will include both classroom and practical sessions. There's a big element of practical in this course. And you'll also do some maths or numeracy and some English or literacy sessions in your week. In the classroom, you'll study a variety of subjects, um, including uh, a business module, where you'll learn about legislation and business practices in the land-based sector. There's a work experience module where you get the opportunity to do an external work placement and uh, learn about jobs in the environmental industry. And there are modules on estate management, conservation and improvement of habitats, environmental science and urban habitat ecology. These modules will give you a good basic knowledge about how to preserve and improve habitats survey these habitats for both plant and animal life and understand how habitats change over time under the influence of human interaction. You'll gain an understanding of threats to our ecosystems and what can be done to improve sustainable practices. You'll visit local urban and rural areas and learn about how these have changed over time and how the biodiversity of these areas can be improved. Each of these modules has a set of assignments to complete, some practical and some written. The course is assessed completely through uh, coursework, so there's a lot of written assignment work to be done, both in college and independently at home. Practical side of things, as well as um, studying descriptive, ecological and environmental processes, you'll have an opportunity to carry out practical tasks in order to give you a good understanding of what's expected from you in the working world, if you intend on becoming a ranger or working for someone like the Wildlife Trust, for example. One of the units uh, covers estates maintenance. The type of work this unit will entail is activities such as um, making fences, hedge laying, brush cutting, tree felling, uh, and general habitat management, such as pond clearing. We are really fortunate here at Northup as we have an array of different habitats on site to maintain. These include woodlands, wildlife ponds and grasslands. You'll also get a chance to participate in ecological surveys such as Quadrat and Transect surveys. Feedback from this year's students is that um, the practical work in particular gives them really good real world experience of what it's like to be working in this sector and it's a good balance of practical and classroom work. And we've been sent some questions about the course, uh, which I'm going to answer now. Okay, the first question is, um, what qualifications do I need to get onto this course? Well, this is a level two course, um, so you will need a minimum of four D grades at GCSE including maths and English language or Welsh first language, or alternatively, a merit in a level one diploma. The course is open to mature students too. So if you're a mature student, then your age and experience would also be taken into account. 
You will also be studying English and Maths GCSE if you haven't already achieved a C in those subjects. Uh, and that will give you a chance to improve your grades and that will improve your employment prospects. Uh, the next question we have is um, about what equipment you might need for the course. Uh, well, in the classroom, you'll need pens and notebooks for making notes for your, from your lectures. And an internet connection from working at home is also really helpful, but it's not essential. For your practical tasks, you'll be required to wear um, personal protective clothing. Uh, this includes protective workwear trousers and steel toe cap boots. And a raincoat is always useful because you will be required to work outdoors in all weathers. Um, our final question is about career prospects. Uh, what sort of jobs are available in the environment and ecology sector? Um, well, after you achieve your level two qualification, uh, you can start thinking about either further qualifications. So a level three course, for example, that might lead on to a degree. Um, and job prospects include uh, conservation, both in the UK and globally, uh, habitat management, uh, local government advisor on ecological impact, uh, for example, for new building work, and many, many more. This is a sector with lots of varied opportunities, and it's growing all the time as the importance of sustainable living becomes more vital. OK, that's all the questions. Thank you very much. I hope that's been helpful to you. If you have any further questions, please contact our Student Services Department at Northop who can pass any queries on to us here. Thank you very much.